Hi there. Thanks for tuning in to Make This Happen, where we discuss an idea we've been dying to see come alive. Every week, my friend Alexander Gonzalez and myself, Jay Yee, will bring you a product you never knew you needed. Now, plastic. People hate it. I'm scared of it. Lately, I've found out about microplastics that made me terrified of plastics. Oh, yeah. Um, microplastics scare me in the sense that... So... Do you have a water? Do you get like your purified water or how do you drink water? Uh, in my home, I actually have this. I, I subscribe to this uh, monthly payment thing where I rented this machine from this company. Right. And every three months they come through and change out the filter and I just pay a monthly subscription. And that comes with the free filter changes and stuff like that. Um, but it literally is just connected to my tap water and it filters it out through a three charcoal filter system. Okay. Right. So I have a Brita, so we're both mm. drinking tap water and it, uh, it filters out harmful toxins, but it doesn't specifically say microplastics and microplastics can be very, very small. Because so what small, is a Brita made out of? It's made out of plastic. <laughs> You're right. putting it into a microplastic. Is your thing. is uh no so microplastics are like you know all those grocery bags that are like floating in the ocean? They yeah. slowly break down over time. And plastics, microplastics have been found in fish and in different food. And then they do all kinds of like weird stuff and yeah. like apparently Well, there's been a study recently um that shows that the average human being every year eats about a credit card's worth of plastic every year and it's yeah. not just grocery bags and shit like when i was growing up i've heard somewhere randomly that if you're using a uh, plastic level four or higher you're safe you are safe you could reuse that plastic over and over again and i'm talking this is like this is like water bottles like like heavy duty water bottles we're talking like uh delis uh things that people use at restaurants all restaurants use delis it's all stored in plastic delis um all that stuff is supposed to be safe but there was a recent study where even plastic level five if you look underneath the plastic thing it has like a triangle with arrows and it has a five in the middle that's like one of the best uh, commercially available plastics and like toughest plastics out there. Even that, if you start refilling, you're going to get microplastics coming off of it. And this is like the most top quality plastics out there. And so that just terrified me. I was like, oh my God, we're not safe anywhere. And then I started looking around. I'm like, all right, that's saran wrapped. You go to a, a grocery store, all the steaks, all the cheese, all saran wrapped. And I'm like, man, that's, that's a lot of plastic right there. Uh, it but, is. Um, yeah, go ahead. No, all this being said, let's get let's take it one step at a time. What is you you even said it already? What is one of uh, the biggest plastic forms of plastic that people have been trying to get rid of and doing it pretty unsuccessfully? I would say grocery uh, bags. We are starting at grocery bags, and not just grocery bags, also trash bags in general. So. What can we do to get rid of these plastic bags that uh, I use plastic grocery bags in terms of like uh, the, the ones that say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you on them like you get at a convenience store. Um, I use that to like use as my bathroom trash bag and like all the smaller trash cans around my home because that's what I do. And I, up. I pick up to poop with, uh, with uh, mm. the grocery store bags because I was going to um, say that's a Big bag for poop, but I realize your dog probably has big poop, whereas my dog has small poop. It's like an entire handful for me <laughs> if I'm good at it. So um, it's just easy to to pick it up that way and then to reuse it for that. Sure. Yeah. Um, this might make you think twice about picking up dog poop with the bag I'm about to create, but we are going to make trash bags out of paper and i don't believe it paper what we would have to do first of all it would have to be like a waxy fiber paper you know like you know when you you could like 
weave paper fibers into like a like a like a not like wax paper but like almost like a wicker basket but made out of you paper mean, you've seen this right you mean like how they did a moana we weave the baskets from the fibers and put yeah. them inside do you remember the song no but yes like that sure <laughs> Moana, they um they use coconut fibers to weave mm. wicker baskets. Yeah, it's gonna be something like that where it's like it's more it's not so much paper, it's more like plant fiber, right? Right. But it is papers in there. We also have to use a little bit of wax, like a beeswax, so like coat it to make it semi waterproof. Yeah. Uh I, probably add some like gum or like to- dental. And sidebar, we need to find another animal to harvest their wax. We depend entirely too much on bees, and they're going away. That we, is true. We, bees <laughs> are going extinct. Uh, we it's, need it's like a, a different. We need a different kind of wax <laughs> from some other animal. Uh, I mean, where else are we gonna get? Like, <sighs> beeswax is so powerful, though. You know what I mean? Like, it's such a good product. Um, right, right. And it's so versatile. It's it's good for health and it's like sticky and fibrous. So it like works for like wax and stuff. But, Absolutely. Um, it, it would have to be covered in that, you know what I mean? Just to like give it a little bit of waterproofing because I understand the biggest concern is people put liquids in the trash. I try yeah. not to. I, I try to empty all liquids before throwing mm-hmm. in the trash can because even in plastic trash bags, I'm afraid of leakage. It's so uh, gross too when you get it on you when yeah, you have to take out the disgusting. trash. Trash, trash, liquid is the worst thing. Um, but yeah, and then it's gonna have to be semi stretchy. So I was thinking putting some like tree gum or like that 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 Zental stuff that's supposed to clean your teeth, but it's like stretchy, right? But, but we gotta f- weave that into it too, so it has a stretch to it and some strength. Um, but definitely we're going to have to put it on like advertise as like, this is not going to be as sturdy as what you're used to with plastic. So please nothing to wet sharp. I mean, you can't even do that in plastic. So just don't put too much wet stuff in these, but besides that, everything would be fine. And then we could like replace all the stores, plastic bags with this stuff. Why don't we uh, use rubber too, right? Rubber comes, it's from a rubber plant. Yeah, rubber works. Rubber is actually smart. We could probably definitely use rubber or like latex or something like that in there. Um, and like, there are paper grocery bags, right? The paper brown bags. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I hate paper brown bags. <laughs> they rip yep. like the handles because the handles are just glued on. You yeah, know? they suck. They're not, like, attached or anything. Nope. They just rip right off. Uh, so I guess, I mean, really, if if we were to do it, I would make a all-in-one paper bag where it's, like, they just cut out a hole in them. But why not just make them plastic? Because I, like I like how they move, you know, not plastic. But, like, what we're trying to do is the paper fiber bags. But, like, they're going to feel like plastic bags. But plastic bags are so much easier because they're easier to store. It's less room. They're we have to have some, and I don't know what part of me has this, but I want to do like some kind of gimmick where like maybe there's like seeds lightened into the bag. So when you go to a dump site, like it's plants specifically that eat trash. So a dump site will be covered in trees. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Um, like an easy growing tree or like a bush yeah. or something. Yeah. That way we just convert trash into trees. Maybe that'll be... um. What if that's uh, the name of the product, Trash Into Trees? Trash Into Trees. Yeah, I like it. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's it's a super simple idea. I like the idea of rubber. I didn't really think of that or latex, which will definitely give it the strength it needs and also the waterproofing it needs. So maybe we don't need to kill more bees to make this product. Instead, we'll tear down some more rubber trees from Thailand. And uh, we're going to just have to make a... Yeah, we'd have to make groves, have some land make some groves and then have it uh, aged in a certain way where depending on how we're harvesting, there's just younger trees growing all the time. 
Uh, and, and I mean, we're we'll, going to need, need two different types of trees because it's going to be made out of both rubber trees and out of regular trees to yep. make the paper out of or whatever. And so we'll, it'll be a combination of both. And uh, I can imagine every home without plastic bags anymore and just all paper bags, paper rubber bags. What will we trash into trees bags? Trash into trees bags, TT bags, TT bags. Uh, but yeah, I think I think we could slowly get rid of plastic one step at a time using this. Yeah, and I think if it's like compostable and it biodegrades on its own, I think that would help out a lot. And uh, if it had some seeds in there, so something takes, maybe some plants will just like grow and go from there. And I think it would be smart to start it like at a university or something, like a big account like that, where, where they're a little bit more forward with the thinking. Yeah. And then if it were proven, the students would be like, no, this actually works. And then uh, adopt from there once once they see that it works for them. Yeah, we'd have to start in universities and corporations, like a big corp, like Microsoft or something like that. Yeah. Um, or someone that's in the environment, environmental friendly thing. Uh, I can't think of any orgs, but. I'd want to sell a large quantity so that the material is less due to the numbers so that they can buy at a cheaper rate because these are going to be more expensive oh, than plastic. At least for the the initial push. I, I could see like 10 years in, we could definitely lower the price to an affordable price point. You know? Right, right, right. But glad make this happen. Thanks for listening. If you have any suggestions or products you like to see talked about, feel free to write in at appoundgames at gmail.com. We have a Patreon. If you'd like to join the AppHound family, come find us at patreon.com slash wearenotgamedevs. Patrons receive episodes two days early, meaning make this happen. It's your ears that much sooner. If you enjoyed our show, take a second to give us a review. We're on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play Store, and more. Catch you guys next Sunday with Alex's Idea. with Alex's idea. I'm trying to think here. I'm trying to think of a, of a good idea. Of an idea that, uh, that makes sense. An idea that people want. Back it. Let's do tissues. Tissues. I use too many. Way Everybody too many. does. Everybody does. Oh yeah, you should see the pile I have growing over here. And I'm and I'm cheap too. I don't even I don't even like spoil myself with tissues. I just grab a toilet paper roll and I have it accompanying me wherever I go. And because I'm a savage, I'll use to I'll use paper towels. Like um, oh, yesterday, I've done that before. Yesterday I was at the store and I found their cleanup station and I went and just grabbed some paper towels from there and blew my nose and threw it in their cleanup station. Yeah. Um... So tissues are my favorite thing to use. Toilet paper, yeah. I do it if I have no tissue paper because it's the next best thing. Problem with toilet paper is it's like so much more flimsy. I find pieces of tissue paper on my chest throughout the day. I'm like, oh shit, fuck. Gotta wipe that yeah. off. And it's it gets everywhere. And then uh, paper towels, they work great to blow your nose with. The problem is you feel like you're wasting a paper towel. <laughs> Yeah. Your nose into it. But Absolutely. I love paper. Paper speaking of things I love, paper towels, man. I don't know how I can live without paper towels. I no, I totally feel you. Rags are not as fun. No. But there's no. it's the it's what you're supposed to do. And you gotta wash a rag, which yeah. takes extra time. Whereas I could kill five trees and clean up a space.